Hey everybody, it's Chris Demetric here from TDW Woodworks. Today, I'd like to talk about fidget toys and finger spinners. These are things that I keep at my desk to help me to concentrate on the task at hand. Um, you've seen people that click their pen, click, 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 or that tap their pen or tap their feet. These are all types of fidgeting behavior that people do to keep their, uh, their self calm and engaged in the task at hand. What you may not know is for the last decade and a half I've been doing tech support. I do telephone tech support with the general public. Everything from TV to internet to phone. And some of the support is long, mind-numbing, simple tasks like simply putting batteries in a remote or how to plug in a modem. For me, these are very simplistic tasks and my mind seems to wander, but when I have my fidget toy, when I have my desk toy, what I've determined is, is that if I have something that's maybe not as engaging or interesting as I would like it to be, and it do I can't sustain my focus, the additional sensory motor input that is mildly stimulating or interesting or entertaining helps my brain to stay fully engaged at the task at hand. Um, it allows me to sustain my focus on the primary issue and um, become more focused in what I am doing. So, as you can imagine, after 15 or 16 years of tech support, I have gathered quite a few of these things that I have at my desk. Now, some people have seen the squishy balls or some of the uh, you know, toys that have the water in it, but I thought I would show you some of my favorites. And now, with the addition of a 3D printer at the house, I've been making a lot of these finger spinners and uh, other ways of keeping my hands busy as my mouth and brain are thinking of other things. So uh, let me review some of my favorites, some of ones I've had in my desk for probably more than a, a decade or two. All right, and here you see a layout of some of the uh, things I've had at my desk for some time now. Um, we'll start out with these larger gears. Now these aren't really desk toys, but I have them on a little shelf above my desk and every once in a while I'll pull them down and just play around with them. They make kind of a neat cool sound. And that's just something that I have at my desk, but not really a toy. And next I'll grab the old putty. You gotta have at least a couple of styles of this uh, magic putty, whichever uh, have a style you like. This one's glow in the dark and I've got a few different kinds, even magnetic, but uh, it's just a gold standby grabbing the putty. And then we're talking about those finger spinners. Some refer to them as a hand spinner or finger spinner, but uh, this one here is uh, like a cog at the end of it and it spins pretty freely and I don't know, like I say, it's you gotta kinda get it in your hand and use it and you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about here. Now this one I don't like as much because it's a little wider um, but let me show you my other ones I like. I really, really like this five and three sided one. Um, they spin super long. Uh, what they're using is an old skateboard bearing in there. And uh, they'll just keep spinning and keep your fingers and hands occupied while your brain is thinking of, of other things. Moving along, we've got ourselves some cool wooden puzzle toys that I learned how to make through Steve's French, Steve French's uh, website, and uh, kind of fun to play with. And next up would be some kinetic sand. If you haven't seen this before, it's a non-Newtonium solid that uh, is kind of a cool substance, easy to clean up, and uh, I guess you'll have to explore that on your own. Of course, we've got all my hand-turned wooden tops, which are a classic to spin and play around with at the desk. I'll grab those at least uh, once or twice uh, a week and start playing with those. And, uh, let's see what and on the printer I printed out a couple of these gears. Uh, just something fun to play around with. And uh, it's, uh, I don't know, visually stimulating. And you can't beat the magnets. you got to have at least some uh, neodymium, um, neodymium magnets uh, at the desk and uh, just play around with. I always go to these. I've had this on my desk for probably at least five or six years. One of the old standbys is the wooden mannequin, but just beware that maybe your co-workers might put your mannequin in a weird position. 
And here's the Hyper Cube. I didn't fully assemble it, but I like this. It's a cube inside of a cube. I printed it out in the 3D printer and I love playing with this thing. And the last couple that I go to pretty regularly is going to be this uh, brass lock. It's got some neat kind of clicking, locking um, dial there. And of course, if you have an air compressor, you know what this is. And I love clicking and playing with this thing. I have it at my desk. I don't know why, but it, it seems to work really well for concentrating. So the next time you're at your desk and you grab that toy to play with, just know that you're doing your brain good because fidgeting with it something or doodling or playing with clay it's all keeping your brain alert and stimulated so that you can edit this video or whatever you might be doing so uh, feel free to grab that fidget toy put it in your pocket every day get your brain working for you so thanks for watching this is Chris Demetric from TDW Woodworks and you have yourself a great day and get that brain working alright let's edit this video